Hi, y'all. You know, this video's upside down. That's because I've got the charger plugged into the bottom of it. I'm drinking my coffee milk. And after I drink my coffee milk, I've got to go get dressed, go to town and buy some groceries. There's many as I can for $150. Now, Glenn, the price of groceries is shot up, and it's going to get a lot worse. A lot worse. A lot worse. For several reasons, it's going to get a lot worse. I mean, if you pay attention to what all has been going on, then you know the reason why is going to get a lot worse. And the Bible says in the end times that there will be famine. And this world is headed for famine now. They've had famine over in Africa for ages. But here in America, everywhere else, there's going to be famine. And so, you better buy you some groceries while you can. Get a lot of canned foods and stuff that don't have to put in the ice box. And stock up on your drinking water too, because drinking water's going to be getting poisoned. Oh, they've got these disasters happening now. The train derailments with the horrible chemicals in them. And they set that on fire on purpose, knowing that. It would pollute, and it would make people sick, and people will die. Animals have already been dying and fishing. It's just going to be like a chain reaction as that stuff spreads. They can't clean all of that up. The damage has been done. And anyway, might as well face it, we're in the end times. Might as well face it. I don't know why anybody wants to try to bury their head in the sand because <coughs> it's so obvious the world is in such chaos and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And it's just like Bible prophecy says, might as well face it. Put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ because if you don't, you're doomed. There's no other salvation. Everything's going to happen like it's going to happen. But anyway, it's cloudy and damp today and oh I felt it when as soon as I woke up I felt it oh my arthritis is hurting in my shoulder joints it's like oh my gosh it feels like my shoulders are almost broke my hands are hurting and I know before the day is even half over with I'm going to be stiff in my back for that arthritis so I'm going to take a naproxen before I leave to help me get through going to Walmart. It's the only way I'll make it. Go to Walmart and get what I can. Come back and I haven't crocheted last couple of days because my my wrist has been hurting me it's that carpal tunnel coming back on me so I want to crochet but I need to quit for a while so 
try to do something else for a while. Well, we we hired a lady that Paul knows to come in and clean the house. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Boy, my day, my memory's not that great. Keeping up with time. Well, she she did an all right job. Not as thorough as as I would have did. I mean, but she did, I guess, what she could. And she, she got the floors clean, the bathrooms clean. That was the main thing. That helps. My nerves are on edge. That that thing that that toxic spill in Ohio that's just got my nerves on edge because there's more than that more toxic disasters that have already happened and it's going to happen more and I know that God is in control and and I know I shouldn't fret and worry about it but I care. I care. That's why it gets me upset. I care. I care about what happens to people. I care about what happens to the animals and the birds. I care about what happens to the earth. You know, the earth is a gift from God. He created it for us to live on. That's what he created it for. He didn't create the world just for the heck of it. I mean, God always has a reason for everything he does. And he created this earth for us to live on. And I know he's going to restore it. He's going he's gonna to burn it up. First, and then he's going to restore it. The Bible says, after all the wickedness is said and done with, he's going to create a new heavens and a new earth. And that's, that's the good news. So everything that's been affected by sin, he's going to create new. It's just in the meantime, I hate to see these things happen. It's horrible. It's bad enough they've been chemtrailing the skies for years and years. Toxins coming down out of the sky on us. It's bad enough. But... I'm just ready for things to change and be different. I'm tired of people who who are mean. I'm tired of people who are dishonest. I'm tired of people doing horrible things. I'm tired of it. All the horrible things that people do in this world. I'm tired of people being hateful. We, we need Jesus, that's the bottom line. We need Jesus. That's the bottom line. That's what I wanted to say. Well, I'm going to drink my coffee milk.
get around and get going. <clears throat> There's that little girl. There's that little girl. Look at that little girl. <laughs> little Mila. She's so cute and sweet. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that baby girl. Okay, y'all.